What's good, he's Shell trying to hit the most woke, no joke, and I'm back at it again with a brand new video. And I'm gonna keep it up, Bowberry Biscuit. When I find out someone's trying to buy my team, I got to know. I got to know who they are. I got to know everything about this person. So when I saw this tweet from Joe Person, let's go down to PIP. When I saw this tweet from Joe Person saying, Canadian steel magnet Alan Kestenbaum will be in Charlotte on Friday for a site visit with the Panthers, per sources, one of at least three known bidders. I had to find out anything I could about this Alan Kestenbaum guy. So the first thing I was thinking is, who is Alan Kestenbaum? This is Alan Kestenbaum. But more importantly than what he looks like, what is his what what, what is his business history? What is what, what is he about? So he's the uh, he's he's the CEO of Stelco Holdings Incorporated, which is in Toronto. And there's a lot there's a long background bio on him. If, I, if you click on read full background, it turns to a wall of text. You don't want to read all that. So what you really need to zone in on is that he spent 30 years in the steel industry, and he's connected to eight different organizations across nine different industries in the steel in the steel business. And what that means is that he's part of literally every single part of of the of the steel industry, meaning from procurement to 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 refinery to applications in all industries. I'm talking about the medical industry, tubing, uh, aircraft, architecture. Did I say medical already? It, I, this guy, he, if there's something you can do with metal, he has a hand. One of his companies has a hand in, in doing something with it. He, oh, yeah. He also has an investment company where they invest in other companies that do things with mining and, uh, and steel work. So not only is he part of the industry, he's part of the higher up. Uh, totem pole men in the men in the in the sky in the clouds who are ha who's handing out money to other companies to do to do work in the steel in the steel industry. So this man is close to the man on top. So he's a board member of a few different companies: uh, Stelco Holdings, Dow Corning, Matthias, Bedrock Industries, Stelco Inc., uh, Glow Specialty Metals, which he was actually the founder of. And uh, he's the director of Wolverine Tube. We'll go through these kind of quickly, but before we do that, I want I want to look at, see and find this guy's uh, net worth because I want to see like, you know, if he's gonna buy the Panthers. How much does he, what's he make a year? What's he make a year? And what's he worth like right now? But all I could find after looking for like 10, 15 minutes was this thing on a uh, salary.com that shows in twenty that shows in uh in twenty fifteen in twenty fifteen. He made $7.4 million. I couldn't find anything on his actual net worth. This man is is the holder of all these companies and on the board of all these companies, and he doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. So I don't know what, that, what that's supposed to mean or what that's supposed to like trigger in my mind, but that's a little bit weird to me. But seeing this, he made $7.4 million in 2015, and, but what's really interesting right here is that on the on the right side, it says his base pay was nine hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars, and his bonus for the year was six million two hundred thousand dollars. Just imagine that for a second. Imagine, imagine what you make in a year. Imagine you're at your job for a full year, and you're making your money, and you your your, your yearly pay is what you get, and then you get a bonus of six times that. This man makes just. He makes five thousand dollars under a million. I don't know why it's like that. I, I don't know enough about taxes or whatever, whatever, to tell you what it is. If there's like a bracket for right at a million dollars if you get paid that much, but it seems a little strange that his base pay is literally a clean five thousand dollars under a million. But that's not for me to talk about. This man making money. Look, this man's making money. Um, and there was also there was also a story on. Uh, the Charlotte Observer doing a little profile on him that said that in early 2015 his company his company Globe agreed to merge with the Spanish company uh, Grupo Ferro Atlantica for 3.1 billion dollars. So he's making he he's he can make deals. He makes the best deals. Anyway, but uh, this man seems like he'd be a pretty good fit for owner of a of a, of a football team. He can he's been handling. The whole steel industry 
for 30 years. But I want to go ahead and go quickly. I want to talk about this a little bit. I'll come back to this article in a second. But I want to go, ahead and go through his uh, companies just to let you know just how deep he is into the steel industry. So his company, uh, Dow Corning Matthias, deals with life sciences, cosmetics, civil engineering, refractory, electronics, textiles, aeros airspace, and automotive um, and aircraft industries. That's, that's a mouthful. His company, Bedrock Industries, uh, is is the venture capital firm. So they're the ones who like hand out the money for for uh, for people to do what they do with the uh, with with metals and whatnot, uh, mining and uh, and metal work. This is it, he, so he's the man with the cash already. Uh, his company Stelco, it, they do high ultra ice ultra high strength and alloy steel products that are used in construction, automotive, and energy industries. Uh, and one of his companies actually. Uh, with the waste they create, they actually turn that into more products uh, for people to use. So he's into recycling, I guess. But this man is literally the man. You can do something with metal. He has a hand in it. And I only bring all this stuff up because it's important to note that this man's business acumen is is so great. He really might be a pretty good fit for being an owner. His company, uh, Glow Specialty Metals, deals with uh, solar energy. Computer chip manufacturers, automobile sectors, ductile iron foundries, don't know what that is, and uh, concrete and building material procedures or producers. So, like I said, architecture. And his last company he's a board member of is Wolverine Tube, which is a lot here. But it suffice to say that if you can put metal into a cylindrical shape and then hollow it out, Alan Kastenbaum is the owner of your, he, he deals with your business. If you, if you, if you, there's a pipe, if there's a pipe, then in his metal, Alan Kestenbaum knows about you. Now, I, it would be kind of weird if I didn't mention this. There was a story uh, reported that there was a Canadian billionaire, Jim Pattison, who was reported that he may be backing um, Kestenbaum's bid, but the dude said he wasn't. So, I mean, take that as, at his word. And there was an, a really old uh, story in the 80s connecting uh, Alan Kestenbaum to some kind of shady characters back then. I won't get into that. If you want to look at that yourself, you can Google it. But I'm not here to talk about all that kind of stuff. What I am here to talk about is Alan Kestenbaum looks like he's pretty good at doing his job. Looks like he's good at owning a business and he's good at making money and making things profitable. So I think, you know, with what I'm seeing right here, so a quick, a quick profile of the man, he might really be the guy. It sounds like he can, he can actually think to uh, diversify and have people around him who are smart and can and can work the market as well. So he might be a guy who can pay pretty fair, has experience, and can do pretty well with a football team. But and if but if, and if y'all know anything more about this guy, let me know in the comments below. I want to know anything. What do you think about him as an owner? Could he be that guy for us? Let me know in the comments below. You already know what to do with that like button. I got a button right here for you to subscribe and a button right here for you to watch more videos. Namaste. Back sooner than you think.